Hello, my students. Some time back, I had uh, posted this question, and the intention was to test whether the candidates are aware how COVID-19 is spread. Remember, COVID-19 is a viral disease that can be transmitted from one person to the other one through infection. Now, you'll find that from this question, we had 10 people, or rather four people, who were already sick and they could infect eight students per minute. Now, these four people increased to 10. And therefore, you should have expected that with more people who are sick, they are going to infect more people. Now, this question is coming from a, a topic that was taught in class 7. Part of it was taught in class 7, and more of it was taught in class 8. Therefore, it is our obligation to ensure that we curb the spread of coronavirus by staying at home to keep safe. Now, before I solve this question, it is always important to read the question and understand. We are going to read this question together so that we understand what we were required to do. We are told that in a certain county, the number of people infected with COVID-19 are four. They can spread the virus to eight students per minute. How many more students can be infected by 10 such people spreading the virus at the same rate? Let me explain a bit. We have four people who are already sick. And because this uh, virus can be transmitted through infection to other people, the four people are capable of infecting eight students per minute. Then from there, these four people have increased to ten. Now the question is, how many more students can be infected by ten such people spreading the virus at the same rate? And therefore you would expect, because now more people are already sick, they should infect more students. Now, this question comes from the topic on ratio and proportion. Part of this work was covered in class 7, and more of it was covered in class 8. And it is on proportion. Now, what is proportion? Proportion is the relationship between the size or amount of two things or quantities the relationship between the size or amount of two things or quantities. This one is a quantity. This is another quantity. What is the relationship between four and eight? And therefore, what will be the relationship between eight and the other quantity? Proportions are of two types. Let us go through these types of proportions. The first type is direct proportion. The other one is indirect proportion. It is also referred to as inverse proportion. Let us begin with the first one, direct proportion. For direct proportion, when one quantity increases, the other one increases in the same ratio. When one increases, the other one increases in the same ratio. Let us look at an example. Let us have quantity A and quantity B. 
If quantity A increases, quantity B will also increase in the same same uh, proportion. Like for example, if you have got 2 and 3, if you double 2, you will get 4. Now that you have doubled 2 to get 4, you should, you should, you should also double 3 to get 6. What is the relationship between this first quantity? Look at the second quantity. If you take, for example, quantity A and you divide by quantity B, you should get 2 over 3. And if you look at this second proportion here, if you take 4, you divide by 6. And then you simplify, you should get 2 over 3. And therefore, for any of these uh, quantities, there is something that is not changing, that is 2 over 3. Take for example, you double 4 to get 8. You should also double 6 to get 12. And so 8, you divide by 12, you should get 2 over 3 when you simplify. Let us look at the second case. In direct proportion, which we have also said it is also called inverse proportion, when one quantity increases, the other one decreases in the same same ratio. An example is like when you have quantity A and quantity B. If A increases, B will decrease. And a good example is like when you have 12 workers completing a piece of work in seven days. If you increase these workers here, maybe by two to get 14, now you have got more workers, you should expect for them to complete that same piece of work. They should take less days. And this one is six. What is the relationship between 12 and seven? What is the relationship between 14 and six? If you take quantity A, you multiply by quantity B, you get 84. That is, 12 multiplied by 7 is 84. And the same, same case, 14 multiplied by 6, you get 84. There is something, there is a relationship here between A and B because in every case, you are getting 84. In fact, even if we had another proportion here, and then we take A, we multiply by B, we should get 84. Now, let's go now to our question here. I have already said that these are sick people who are already four. And it is most likely that these four sick people can infect eight students. So if you increase four to ten, you should expect more people to be infected. And therefore, this one is direct proportion. And we have said that when one quantity increases, the other one also increases in the same ratio. Now, we have quantity A, which is 4, and we have quantity B, which is 8. Now that 4 have increased to 10, the question is, 8, these 8 students will increase to what? And because there is a relationship between quantity A and quantity B, whereby we have said, if you take quantity A and you divide by, by quantity B, in our case we shall take 4, we divide by 8, it should be equivalent to 10. 10, we divide by that question mark there. And now this is our task, to get how many students will be infected by these 10 sick people. And then from there, we shall go ahead and answer the question, because the question is asking how many more students can be infected by 10 such people spreading the virus at the same rate. Let us now solve our question mark. And this one we can be able to do by doing close multiplication. Whereby now we take 4, we multiply by that unknown value, 
to be equivalent to 10 multiplied by 8. Now, to get this unknown value here, we should divide by 4 on both sides. And therefore, 10 multiplied by 8, you divide by 4. And once you simplify this expression here, you take 4, you divide by 4 to get 1. 8, you divide by 4, you get 2. And therefore, the unknown number of uh, students who will be infected by these 10 sick people will be 20. But now the question is asking, how many more students will be infected? That is, from 8 to 20, how many more have been infected from 8 to 20? And therefore, you should take 20, you subtract 8 to get 12 more students will be infected. And therefore, that could have been the answer for that question. Thank you very much for listening to this lesson and I hope we are going to do more examples which are similar together with indirect proportion so that we understand how to work direct and indirect proportions. Thank you very much and goodbye.